Today I'm going to show you how to create an abstract piece of retro futuristic artwork known as a polyscape. It's a combination of polygon shapes and landscape or cityscape photographs and sometimes even pictures of outer space. These photographs are then cut and pasted into a digital collage using Photoshop's editing tools rather than scissors and glue. The use of geometric shapes and unusual contrasting landscape imagery gives the artwork somewhat of a sci-fi feel, as if it's a gateway to another dimension. Follow along with this tutorial to recreate this polyscape in Photoshop, or experiment with different assets to achieve a unique result every time. To create polyscape art, you first need some image assets to work with. Unsplash.com is a wonderful place to find free landscape photos. I'm using images by Michael Osa and Yeshi Kangrang. Download links can be found in the description. Open the landscape image and place two guides to highlight the centre. To do this, make sure you have rulers enabled and the snap option under the view menu. Then drag a horizontal and vertical guide into place. Select the elliptical marquee tool and draw a circle outwards from the centre point while holding the Alt and Shift keys. Add a new layer then fill this selection with white using the command and backspace shortcut. Right click and choose transform selection, then scale down the circle selection slightly while holding the alt and shift keys. Hit enter then the delete key to remove this centre portion to leave a ring shape. Go to select and deselect to clear the selection, or use the command and D shortcut. Duplicate the background layer by dragging it over the new layer icon. Move this duplicate layer to the top of the layer stack. Hold the Alt key and click between the layers to create a clipping mask. This will make the layer only visible within the area of the ring shape. It becomes more visible if you use the Command and T shortcut for Transform, then right click and choose Flip Vertical. Double click the ring layer to add an outer glow layer style. Configure the settings to Overlay using the default white colour. Maximum 250 pixel size and alter the opacity to suit. I'm using 50%. Use the magic wand tool to make a quick selection of the circular space within the centre of the ring. Add a new layer and drag it under the ring shape in the layer stack. Change the foreground colour and sample a brownish hue from the original photograph. Use the alt and backspace shortcut to fill this circular area. Set the layer's blending mode to overlay to allow the colour to subtly alter the hues of the original image. Click the topmost layer in the layer stack, then add a new layer so it's placed above it right at the top. Under the Rectangle Tools tool group, choose the Triangle tool. Draw a shape from the centre. Don't hold Alt until after you've started clicking and dragging, but do then use the Alt and Shift keys to keep the triangle equal and central before releasing. Hover over a corner point and rotate the triangle by 180 degrees. Hold the Command key to move the triangle until it snaps into place centrally again on the guides. Open up a contrasting image in Photoshop, then select all with Command and A, copy with Command and C, close the image with Command and W to return back to the main working document, then paste with Command and V. Create a clipping mask to confine this new image to the triangle area by clicking between the layers while holding the Alt key. Use the Command and T shortcut to scale and move the image around to find the best composition. Double click the triangle layer to add some layer style effects of its own. Add the same outer glow effect, then also a stroke using the settings 3 pixels, overlay and white. Also check the overprint option. That's the polyscape composition complete, but let's add some finishing touches with some colour grading and texturing effects. Select the top layer in the layer stack, then make a merged copy using the Command, Alt, Shift and E shortcut. I'll go to Layer and Merge Layers, but hold the Alt key while clicking the menu option. Convert this merged layer to a smart object, then apply a Camera Raw filter. The Camera Raw filter is a great place to tweak and edit the various sliders to alter the final appearance. You can adjust the overall contrast and clarity, but also mess around with some colour grading effects by adjusting the colour balance and even each hue individually under the Colour Mixer section. I gave my artwork more of a blue and red split toned look. Retro futuristic artwork like this always looks great with some texturing to enhance the old album cover look. Download the free sample of my retro cover art textures from Spoon Graphics. Open the VHS Book 3 texture in Photoshop and copy and paste it into the main working document. 
Use the Command and T shortcut to scale and rotate the texture to fill the canvas. Then change the blending mode to screen to make the black areas transparent, leaving just the creased lines and distressed edges. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.